Hello, friends and lovers. How are we doing? What's going on? Let's get it going with the Hades yet again. We're going to take out the Aspect of Zag for the Fist. Gives you a plus 15% dodge chance. And that's right, it's time. It's been a bit because we've done a Lambent Plumey run. Something about the Lambent Plume. Uh, we always want to stack these things together, you know? So the Lambent Plume gives you dodge and move speed for each encounter that you clear quickly. And so, I don't know, I just I always feel myself gravitating towards uh, the dodge chance aspect here. But yeah, let's just show you the mirror setup here. Now, there's probably some questions around dodge chance. We'll talk about it once the run gets started. I kind of figured I'm going to try to roll with Ruthless Reflex. I, I don't like it. I recommend to everyone, and I never want to play without Greater Reflex personally. I think that plus one dash is far more important than the quote unquote 50% damage and dodge chance you get for the two seconds after you dash just before getting hit because it's theoretical I say quote unquote it's like a theoretical bonus that you get because you only get it when you get a close miss I guess is the best way to describe it but one dash always very very painful and of course we're gonna do it at 32 heat but that means since we're running the limb and plume we got to be careful here we got to reduce the things that would increase the time it would take perhaps something like benefits package I don't know in order to uh, make sure we clear these encounters quickly enough. We also don't really know what kind of boons we're going to get here. Might be time to turn on Forest Overtime 2 here, which means we turn that off. Uh, benefits package makes things take longer, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'm okay with that. Why don't we do this and hopefully we'll be okay? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how we do. It's been a while since I did this. So we're gonna have lots of dodge. We're running the fisties. It's work well with most things, at least. Aries. I don't like Aries, honestly. Oh. Okay. All right. You know, I guess I can't complain about that. But yeah, one dash. Definitely not what I really want. There's one. Let's go, baby. So dodge chance. How does that work? Dodge chance is what they would describe as additive, which means that if you have multiple sources of dodge chance, simply add them to together in order to get your total dodge chance. So we have 15% from the aspect, and now we have 2.4% from this. That means we have 17.4%. Oh my god. Oh, hello. That means we have 17.4% if you don't count Ruthless Reflex. Now, trying to add in Ruthless Reflex, it's kind of like, when is it active, when is it not? You got to think about and things like that okay so i think you probably gotta guess where i'm going with this with merciful end and stuff i guess well i hope wow all right okay all right okay if you don't know merciful end triggers your doom special effects immediately no it's not youtuber luck trust me ah! go Oh my god, please die. So that's how dodge works. But not everything really works that way because speed, uh, movement speed, which we also get from the Lambent Plume, is actually multiplicative, which means that other sources of move speed will actually get multiplied together and it increases much more rapidly. If you get multiple items from the well that increase your move speed, I already forgot what they're called, Ickers or something like that. If you get multiple of those, you're going to feel that effect very, very quickly. That's why certain boons like Rush Delivery from Hermes that increases your damage based on your move speed are potentially so powerful. Potentially. Okay, so we got the two pieces to get offered Merciful End. I, didn't, I don't think I took God's Legacy. In fact, I know I didn't. In fact, I think I took... Um, Privilege Status 2 more for fun. I guess, which I definitely would not normally want here. Reaching Cross is probably the best in slot for this. Uh, that dash strike that gets through enemy's armor really quickly is just very, very nice. We need more Ares or need more Athena now, then? We need Athena's dash, and we need the dual boon. And I guess we're hoping to get exposed down the line, too. Maybe a cast that applies a status effect otherwise. There's the shop on the left. Did I get rid of convenience fee? I can't remember already. There's more Athena. Oh my god, that's lucky. Um, We didn't get an offer, but that's okay. I think you just take the dash while it's here. Oh my god. Oh, all right. But yeah, Breaching Cross is going to feel pretty good there because that armor went down very quickly. I don't know what I was shooting out there. 
But yeah, dodge, it's very simple to understand how the dodge works. So yes, it's actually not that crazy difficult to get 100% dodge at moments. It's very difficult to get passive 100% dodge where you literally stand, stand still and you cannot be hit. Usually you need other status effects like, uh, or sorry, you need other buffs like Ruthless Reflex or a boon from Hermes like Second Wind, which increases your dodge temporarily. Uh-oh. We do need boons to sell. Uh-oh. I guess I'm taking Blinding Flash for now. That's not good, though. No merciful end early for us. Okay. But we got P status going on. About to get another palm here, too. So we're pretty well set up. Ideally, we would we would have gotten Merciful End. I would have sold the special after the fact. Uh, since we don't need it. Once we have a, it going on here. Hey, whoa. What the H? I guess I don't roll. It is questionable if I do the special here, you might say. But that gives you a lot of damage. But I'm not going to use the special. You don't really want to level Exposed either. So I guess that means I'm leveling the dash. Maybe you do do Exposed instead there, actually. I don't know. I can't imagine, though. Maybe, though. Woo! I do not like Ruthless Reflex. So there's a lot we want from Hermes here. Because we could get things, something like Rush Delivery. Since we already have his keepsake on, you can actually already get it uh, without getting other boons. Because you get move speed from the keepsake itself here. Therefore, Hermes is allowed to give you the legendary. Actually, Sorry, not legendary. They can just give you the rush delivery then because of that. I don't think we buy the Meg in this instance. I don't think we should need it now. Um. We need things to sell. We're going to go this way, just get more money. So yeah, I mean, you, you might have seen other videos where I get a bunch of dodge, too. Like, there's some ancient video of mine where we get, in theory, a hundred like 150-something percent dodge. But it's uh, usually under certain conditions, kind of. For moments, we have that much dodge, really. So it's probably going to be similar here. We'll see what Hermes offers us. Because there's a lot of different avenues we could go. Like, plus dashes would be really convenient. Oh, uh, we actually lost the plume on this room because it was su such a nightmare. And this is the last chamber, but because Athena's here, we we got to take it. I would have taken Chaos if Athena wasn't there, probably. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Ha ho! Let's go. With one dash, Merciful End is a lot less good here, though. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely not bad. But it's uh, not as strong as it could be. This is one of those instances where I really wish I we had the other... Plus one dash, because you could be dash, you could be uh, dashing in and out way more rapidly to get the doom triggers. All right, so pretty straightforward. Now we just dash and attack. I mean, it's kind of the same as before, but we just deal more damage now. <laughs> Merciful end before the end of Tartarus. Full kit practically. We're hoping to get impending doom from Ares in the future, but we can't swap keepsakes. Uh, sometimes that, that's an often question we get. If you change out your keepsake, whether it be Hermes or Thanatos' keepsake, after you already get some of the buff, uh, will you retain the buff? The answer is no. You have to keep it on the whole time to keep the buff. So that is what we shall do. That's a no. I have no rolls, therefore we have to get rid of Exposed. Which is too bad, but what can you do? This is just like that other run. They just don't want me to have Exposed for some reason. Blinding Flash, is that the actual name of the boon? Occasionally I remember the actual name of the boon. Be there soon, okay. Here's our first Hermes. This is going to be really important. And we have no rolls. <laughs> Just plus one dash would be huge. But do we want to keep up with the motif of getting a lot of dodge here? I don't know. That's tough. Maybe whatever the highest rarity is. What about Rush Delivery? What if that gets offered? What about Hyper Sprint? Probably not Hyper Sprint. Well, we have no rolls and Rush Delivery was the only useful thing that got offered here. So you deal bonus damage based on any bonus movement speed. Bonus damage is 50%. So we get half of this right now. So 6.6% or whatever, which is certainly not a lot. It'll go up a little bit. 
some pause buffering here to see what's going on. Don't really want Demeter that badly. We do need more boons to sell, but I would much rather palm the attack at least once more. Hopefully it'll let me. Is it guaranteed now that we sold Exposed? I think so, because I think we only have three palmable boons, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Looking good. Ooh, ooh. So that's going to be... A, I see a lot of questions around how rush delivery works. When do you get that bonus uh, from this boon exactly? Do you have to be moving? It's, it's just whatever your current bonus move speed is when the attack lands. It doesn't matter if you're moving, standing still. It doesn't matter what you're actually doing. So the hyper sprint works because you get that move speed bonus directly after dashing, but it doesn't actually matter what you do after the dash as long as it you attack during that time period right after. All right, we did manage to hit the attack. Uh, that trial, huh? I think that trial's worth it. It's not often worth skipping the shot, but I think this is it, right? You got to be careful with tight deadlines still, though, and I am thinking about it. Uh, Athena trials, I feel like, are slightly easier. Show me impending doom. We did get it, 60%. So this is all plus side when you have Merciful End, right? Because it says they take a half a second longer to activate, but that doesn't matter when you have Merciful End. That don't matter. Oh. Oh. So we're opening an Expose. Uh, expose. Back from Athena. Woo! So today, in case you missed it, maybe I'll drop the clip in here. On the stream, I say today, but you know, the truth is this, this recording is probably from a day or two before y'all are watching it right now. The PC gaming show happened where they just made a list of their top 25 most wanted games. That's what they called it. They had a panel of like 70 people. We're just going to take it. It's just a privileged status activator. And Hades 2 was actually number three out of 25. It's really something to imagine how Hades 2 could build on the slowly unfolding storytelling and elegant design of the first game. That's it! I was actually quite shocked. I was shooketh. I like Dio's call here. I probably want to make sure I take something to sell, though, either way. Something sellable, I should say. So no premium vintage. I was I was quite shocked because I mean being so close to the Hades I guess I'd call it franchise now right it's hard for me to tell just how big the scope is a little bit I guess we'll take strong drink might have to sell it hopefully they let me sell the special though or some other boon we get don't want to sell rush delivery either don't want to sell anything Sometimes it's difficult for me to see, but like uh, Silk Song, on the other hand, was number 11. Number 11. Now, their panel of people uh, voting for this were just uh, like a mixture of content creators, developers, and other people in the biz, apparently. They might have had some, uh, some of us normies vote or something. I don't know. That's a relief. They didn't call me in for Hades 2, though. Can you believe that? Can you believe I got shunned like that? We can palm either the attack or impending doom here now. I can't believe they do that to me. But yeah, it was... You know, we suspected that Hades 2 would be on the list. But there was no new information, no new artwork, no announcements, nothing. It was just them showing bits from the trailer from last December and saying, looking forward to it. <laughs> 20% of 151 equals 31, correct? Wait, 31? 30. Um, so that's more damage than palming just the attack, right? That should be how it works. More Hermes. Uh, I guess the special would be the best thing to sell. Even Strong Brink would be a nice keep. Oh... 30% attack speed does not really do anything for us here. When you think about it, it's not worth it. It doesn't do anything, really. So I guess we'll take 10% more dodge. Where are we at for dodge? 19.2%. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
So yeah, kind of disappointing that there was literally nothing. It was like less than 30 seconds. It was just him saying like, yeah. Uh, Rogue like, great game. Can't wait for the next one. <laughs> they really got us though. You know what I mean? They really got us. I gotta admit. Speaking of Ares and the different boons offered here, uh, I see a lot of things brought up or as it, it's it's always shocking to me. But people refer to this as a build, doom stacking, as a build of its own, as if it's separate. I'm here to tell you. So doom stacking would require the boon dire misfortune, which allows your doom uh, debuff to stack, quote unquote, not really stack, but each doom application adds additional damage for when the doom does eventually trigger. And it's like plus 12. It's not even pommelable boon. I'm here to let you know, I'm a naysayer. It's not a great boon. It's not the worst boon, but it's not a great boon. And its best effect is in a build like this where you're constantly triggering the doom automatically anyway. So it's practically just like token damage, you know? It, it, there's just so many other better boons than that. Do not go for the quote unquote doom stacking build is what I'm trying to tell you. Crap. Hey, don't worry, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. Don't worry. I'll get it back again for us. Nothing to worry about. What are we at here now? 20% on the plume. And we got 10% from Hermes. So we got 25. Plus 20. So 45.4%. That's without... We didn't get second wind offered either. Too bad, huh? Uh, that's without Ruthless Reflex. If you add in the moments from Ruthless Reflex, we're already at 95% dodge. <laughs> I'm hoping for a third Hermes when we get the sticks. That's that's for sure. Yeah, I guess we'll take another hammer. Could probably take the health there too. Because we kind of don't need the hammer anymore. We got everything we need, baby. Okay. Let's go over here, try to get them to spawn closer to the door. Speed things up, maybe. Come here, bud. Okay, I guess rolling knuckle, because I'm not going to be using the special, that's for sure. Hey, what'd I say? Exposed! Told you, it's coming back. Coming back, y'all. Just like Heelys and light up sneakers. All the different sneakers. Are Heelys like a recent thing? Well, I say recent. When I was a kid, we didn't have them. We didn't have Heelys. I wish we did. I wanted like light up sneakers so badly as a kid. This other kid on the school bus had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ones. And I was, I hated them so badly just because he had those sneakers. Because I wanted them so badly. Except I wanted the ones that were like, uh, I think there was one essentially from the Digimon show or something. Or was it Pokemon or was it Metabots? I can't remember. It was probably none of those shows in truth. Okay, we need... We'll buy that. Good job hitting Expose. We'll take the call. That's fine. Uh, Poseidon too, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Big boiling point or something here. Chaos Gate, you say. Chaos is not going to help you a lot in a build like this. Because he mostly helps more direct damage. Cast stuff, attack stuff, special stuff. Doom does not scale with, you know, attack bonuses. We take things that we want to sell for the most part. So, I guess Ocean's Bounty. Floodshot would not do a whole lot for us here. We'll skip Chaos to take more boons to potentially sell, I suppose. Hey, what do you know? That's nice. Kind of nice. Crab Bearing's okay. We'll take another Palmsy. Hey, we helped out Strong Drink. Whoa, buddies. The, the best thing about a call boon like this right now is more so that you get what we call iframes right after using it, which means you are very, very briefly invulnerable. You can kind of treat a call boon like this as an additional dodge when you're worried you're about to get hit. I'm going to take the health now. We got plenty of money, that's for sure. Ow. Because I failed to use it there. Okay. 
Oh, there's more enemies. I just assumed <laughs> that was the end. You have to wait for those little eyeballs, even these ones that are like the fakes, to uh, perish before more enemies will come in. And we're probably going to miss the timer in this room now because of all that. No, we didn't do it. I mean, we didn't miss it, rather, I should say. All right, okay, all right. Whoa. Mighty Max, remember Mighty Max? It came with, like, all the McDonald's, uh... I think that was, like, the big McDonald's toy toys when I was a kid. I have no idea where Mighty Max came from. I don't know if it was a TV show or what. Had a throwback recently where they announced a G.I. Joe beat-em-up game. It's just like, G.I. Joe? Are people still into G.I. Joe? Not that there's anything wrong with G.I. Joe, but my god. We're really digging deep now at the branding. Guess I'm gonna go Zeus call here. And another free boon. Sure. You could probably go for palms there now even. Have no use for something like this. Our death defiances are full. Maybe I should have taken a holy shield in reality, but whatever. No biggie. Please don't scam me on the cell. You! Ho, oh, you blackguard! Woo! Come here, you. Near miss, near miss, near miss. Kill it! Near miss, near miss. <laughs> I'm a little slow here. Stand still. No, dude! Bump, 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 bump. Woo! There we go, baby. All right, give us that third Hermes here now, please. Please don't give me an anvil. Please don't give me an anvil. We're at 28% on the Lambit plume. We probably would have been fine. It's not like this build would have been bad without Merciful End. We would have been fine. Oh. Damn. I don't want to get rid of the dodge. It'll come back. Trust me. It'll come back. You're just going to have to believe. You know? <laughs> It'll be bad. Trust. Okay. Mashy. Hottie. What do you got down here? Oh, Hermes, help me, please. Well, we got a second win for extra dodge chance. That's fun at least in a way and actually the move speed too uh for a rush delivery so that's something it's not bad Ooh, that's unlucky we'll be back later not exactly what we want oh no we're not gonna get athena back okay so we need to take i guess we need to take a a zoo spoon here to try to get jolted for the call so that we can apply privilege status. See, this is why I don't take privilege status. No, this isn't actually why I don't take privilege status usually. I like privilege status more in a lot of ways, but it, I feel like it's not often the correct thing to take, unfortunately. Because then you have to, instead of going for the best spoons, you have to kind of change what you're looking for or what you're going to take in order to activate privilege status. Which I actually like the concept of more, but I don't think it's really correct to do in terms of, you know, how to play the game most consistently. Good enough to eat. Impending doom, okay. Not bad. Let's just go down this Sata hole. Okay, let's pray that this isn't a full chamber. Now you could go for more dodge here. Uh, by just clearing every single chamber in sticks. So these small chambers and stick, they do count as a chamber, quote unquote, which means that let's say you're leveling a keepsake. 
these small chambers will actually count towards leveling them up. So if you're just trying to max out keepsakes, you should do every single chamber in sticks if you can. Uh, but however, they have some exceptions to this. It doesn't count for the Lamb and Plume. It doesn't count for the Hermes keepsake either. I think those are the only things that make them an exception, I guess. Because even like the well items that last a certain number of chambers, those do, do count. Sorry, the small sticks rooms do count towards those. So it's really just those two keepsakes that I can think of off the top of my head that are the exception, I guess, huh? Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, I got that. Thank you. Whoop. Trying to save that dash. Looking good. All right, jolted, 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 jolted. What? Yo, what? I think billowing strength is probably best there then. That's too bad. No P status for us, I guess, huh? Could pass no, there's no way. Because we can't get Razor Shoals offered. I was trying to think if we get a dirty swap or something, but no dice. Okay. Boom 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 ba do 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 ding dong. Kill the rats. How many rats do there need to be? You know my favorite? What was your favorite toy as a kid? I had one. I had a favorite toy. I remember it very precisely too. Point well, points not bad. It was a Spawn action figure. Spawn the comic book man. However you want to describe Spawn. I don't know why. I remember where we found it, which was buried at the beach. <laughs> In a pile of sand or whatever. We were just like playing on the beach and I saw like a Spawn leg sticking out. And I was like, yo, what's that? And I'm probably, I don't know how old I was. Eight years old or something like that. 5% 5, 5 damage. And I pick it up and it's just spawn in all his glory. You know what I mean? He even had a little cape on him, if I remember correctly. Favorite toy. Had him forever after that. I don't know what happened to him. Hopefully he's nice and retired by now or something. It's interesting how like some of those those marketing gimmicks towards kids they really did work toward me when I was a kid. I remember commercials for that stupid thing. It was just a tape recorder. The thing from home alone. What was it called? Talk Boy, right? It was just called the Talk Boy. There was really nothing about it. It was just a tape recorder, but my god did I want one. Hey, how did you do that? Hey, I'm supposed to be dodging here. I don't know why I'm not using the call. Italian mistake for me. Hey. Dodge. Hopefully. Dodge. Dodge. <laughs> Dodge. Can you hit me, bud? I took a, I took a damage there. Between second win and uh, ruthless reflex. Dodge. See, I don't even care. Dodge. He can't hurt me. Go ahead and try, buddy. Let's see if Cerberus can hit us. <laughs> Dodged? Dodged! <laughs> oh, oh, dab. Oh, you. Oh, oh, she landed. She landed. Oh, I took a damage. It's interesting that the knockback won't even hurt, hit you technically there. Well, <laughs> what a ridiculous run. Oh, what a silly run that was, wasn't it? Here, let's recap the dodge in case you missed it. 
Again, dodge is additive, which means just add up all the dodge you got, uh, you have in the build, and that, that's how much you are dodging. So we had second wind. We had greater evasion. We did have ruthless reflex up here, which when you get a near miss, means you get plus 50% dodge for a couple seconds after. Second wind. So, I mean, if you want to count it, 50 uh plus 36 which was up most of the time during the dad fight at least you know like probably 90 percent of the time that's 86 percent 96 percent uh plus 15 what's that 111 percent hold on hold on i almost forgot get rid of rolling knuckle and of course the lambent plume i already forgot where we were 111 142.2 percent dodge potentially even if you get rid of the ruthless reflex which was 50%, right? We're at, we're over, what was it, 92% in terms of dodge rate. Isn't that crazy? That's insane. Your insanity. Yeah, I'd probably still rather have uh, the plus dashes over Ruthless Reflex in that instance then. But don't worry, there's one more plume in it for us. Bing. Mine. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.